for Toronto. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right there for strike one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty B, we're looking at a team right now. They're just playing some average baseball through four games of this homestand. They split it two and two, D-Row, and I think they expect a little bit more. Yeah, and you don't want to be playing average baseball in front of your home fans. They need to find a way to win this game and, and, and try and take three out of the first five of this homestand. Marcus Semyon stands in as he looks at a cold strike. And it'll be important to stay warm tonight. A chilly 44 degrees here at first pitch. And there are two away now. The right fielder, Teofre Hernandez. Digging in now to Oscar Hernandez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Hey. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. One, two. He swung on and missed strike three. Oduble Herrera to the plate now. It lead things off here in the bottom Wake half of the first. The Philly, the center fielder. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Oh, on the move is Springer. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Batting second. So next to the plate for the Phils, Brad Miller, and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. But guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today. Kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Fouled away. The next 0 2 is taken. That's ball one. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but. You got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Ground ball right side. Simeon's got it. And that's the second out. Batting first, the third baseman, Alex Bohm. At the plate, Alec Bohm. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Had him reaching that time. It's strike one. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. 
Second inning set to go. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, George Springer. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Out in front of it, strike one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Smoke toward third. Throw on to first, two gone. That is it. The first baseman. Number 44. Now to the plate, Rowdy Tellez. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Sent out to straightaway center field. Herrera on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Standing in, JT Realmuto, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Hit back toward the mound. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Batting fifth, not shortstop. Didi Gregorius. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. First pitch of the at bat. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Down the third baseline. And it's fouled away. The one and two pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. McGuire recovers. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Next to bat for Toronto, Reese McGuire. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. One ball, one strike to count. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Biggio 
just 24 years of age. He was a fifth round pick back in the 2016 first year player draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Tyler Chatwood is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Blue Jays go down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up. Six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Skied into straightaway right. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And that's the first out of the inning. Here's Matt Joyce now. Batter pitcher matchup numbers with Tyler Chatwood. He's gone three for eight. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and oh. Joyce, a native Floridian. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. No pitcher. No Anthony. Young Dominguez. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Sir Anthony Dominguez. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. First offering on its way. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul for strike two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Digging in for his second at bat, Bo Bichette. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ball one to start the at bat. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. Two and one after the foul ball there. Now the pitch. The first hit in this one for the Blue Jays. He's lucky it's only a single back up the middle and not a double in the gap the or a home run. Pitches like that in a show get absolutely hammered. To the plate now, Marcus Semyon as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 1. 
He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Fouled off. Another 0-2 home. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. Runners off for second. Pitch outside the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. Bichette, the runner at second with one away. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. George Springer is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball that's 1-0. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one fouled off to the right side. Grounded up the first baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead one nothing. Dan, you find yourself in trouble early putting guys on base, but then you're able to wiggle out of it, get two quick outs. You think you're going to get your team off the field. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Blue Jays one, and the Phillies nothing. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Now that's Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. So striding forward now, Brad Miller. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Back goes Springer, still ranging back. And this one is gone, a home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number three here in the early going. And it brings the Phillies back even now at one apiece. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake, and you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. Now At the plate now, Alec Bohm. As he'll get caught chasing a bad oh. one there at strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The windup and the 0-1. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows now nine out of ten guys to away. Get to Real Muto. Stepping into the box, JT Real Muto. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First offering on its way. A great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. Right to him. 
throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. But the Phils have come back to tie it thanks to this solo home run. We're through four all even now at 1-1. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. A payoff pitch one more time. Fouled away. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Hey, that's a nice job by the batter right there. Left-handed batter going down the third baseline. You don't see that happen too often. A lot of things have to go right. And with the third base. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. To second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Tyler Chatwood is at the plate as he watches ball one. Great job by everyone involved right there. Executed a great pitch. Got the double play. But don't kick yourself. There's still a guy standing on third base. He still needs one more out. A little bit outside. Two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Blue Jays held in check. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. So striding in, Didi Gregorius comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch coming, here it is. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Another one sent foul. Right side. Taken in by Simeon. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's swung on and missed for strike one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Got him swinging in the dirt. McGuire goes to get it. And the throw is in time. Harper is retired. Two down now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly it's been a treat to watch Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2 although he doesn't use that pitch too much if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count could be something they have to think about fouled off the 0 2 once more swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning Phillies down Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Bo Bichette. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Harper is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. The batter number 10, second base, Marcus Jimmy. Now at the plate, Marcus Semyon. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch on its way. Oh, that's up there. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. -oh. That's ball two. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And there's a swing and a miss, two and one now. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Herrera will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Now batter, right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. 
Into the box to Oscar Hernandez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Hernandez connects and sends it to deep left. And it's gone. So a solo shot here to left center field. Home run number three here in the early going as Toronto has taken a two to one lead. Hey that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno number one man you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else and he did just that. Here's George Springer and the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. 3-0 and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. There's ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count. And the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. This is line to left. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Fourth home run here in the early going as the Jays have opened it up now to four to one. Well, the skipper called on him for a reason, and I can guarantee you one thing. That was not what he had in mind. First pitch, and it was out of here. That's a rough way to start your day at the office as a reliever. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. Now batting. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 1. 1 for 2 in the ball game thus far. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Blue Jays four and the Phillies one. Into the box now, Matt Joyce will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Fouled away. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Four foul balls in this AB. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. The next 0 2. And he chased it in the dirt. McGuire has it. And the throw is there to record the first down. Andrew McCutcheon will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 22, Andrew. And he'll go after the first offering here, although this looked to be well below the knees at strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. McCutcheon is retired, two down now. 
up next for Philadelphia. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Odubel Herrera 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he lays off there 1 and 0. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it four to one. Matt Moore is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 51. Stepping in, Reese McGuire. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Smoked on the ground left side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, the third baseman, Kevin Biggio. Striding into the box, Kevin Biggio. He struck out and bounced into a double play in his first two at bats. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. The pitcher, number four. So in now is the Blue Jays pitcher, Tyler Chatwood. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Drops in a strike to start the at bat, nothing and one. Blue Jays pitcher with an even one and one count. We're in the seventh now, four to one our score to this point. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Count with one and two. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all, but hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, a base hit. He came to play today. Not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the oh. offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. Bo Bichette is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Here's a swing and a bouncing ball hit to Gregorius at short. It'll go the short way to Miller, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. Brad Miller will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire wow. offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. A swing and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game. And the Phils have cut the gap to 4-2 now. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked oh, in at the plate. The you hear so many of today's oh, players talk about rhythm and timing. Oh. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Therefore, it is Springer, and he's now got it for it. the first Get down. Good pitch. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. JT Real Muto. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Hit hard on the ground to second. Simeon's there. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting. Good stop. GD. Gregorius. Ready for another chance. Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Oh, and one count and the pitch.
And right into the shift. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. But the Phils draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Blue Jays four and the Phillies two. set for the start of the inning and standing in is the power hitting second baseman Marcus Simeon there's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one Simeon in an 0 and 2 hole here hey as a hitter right here you can't be leaning out over I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here count moves to a ball and two strikes now And it's fouled away. The one two. Hit to short. Gregorius has it. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. Cutting it close here but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah and he was staring at his last at bat right there or probably his last at bat would have been tough to get him another A.B. in this one but he's able to get it done. Hey better late than never and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there he's thinking this very well could be my last A.B. of this game. So a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap ranging back is Herrera but he can't get to this one it's off the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. This right here is the difference between an average hitter and a very good hitter. The average hitter probably doesn't do anything with that pitch, but this guy goes down and gets it, muscling it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Hit out towards second. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And this will add on to their lead. It's now a 5-2 ball game. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. I mean that had to feel good right there Dan that's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead they might have this one locked up Boy, I tell you those are always big those add on insurance runs big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room he's got a hit in three at bats to this point fouled off Hey, you guys know me hitting's a process of elimination and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch I'm on everything else and he turns on one sending it high and deep to right a leap but he can't bring it back into the park it's a home run well it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game he had two bombs yesterday and another one today Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. So now to the plate, Reese McGuire. One ball, no strikes to count. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit, and that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Wow, this guy must be a glutton for punishment because he's given up six hits in this inning alone. Not sure how much more rope you can give this guy. At some point, you have to try somebody different. Kevin Biggio is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Herrera's there. One out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The pitcher, number 43, Tyler Chatwood. 
Digging in and looking for more, Tyler Chatwood. Fourth plate appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Popped up. Miller is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Now batter, the shortstop. Bo and now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup and stepping in Bo Bichette. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Strike one to start the at bat. Sharp ground ball to third and just past his outstretched glove into left the base hit. Play at the plate and he's out. A great throw. But not before five crossed the plate with the big blow being this three run home run. Bottom of the inning now and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. It doesn't look very promising so far. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And he's going to have room to put this one away and that's the first out. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Fouled away. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Now some definite signs of life in that Toronto bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander begin to throw. Hard hit towards center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' swings. It usually takes them a the month or so to get it ironed out. Into the box, Matt Joyce. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. No hits to this point. And he fouls this one off. Runner at first here, one man out. Now this is slowly hit to short probably too slowly to get to there's one but one's all they were ever going to get and the inning will continue that was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time you see the off balance throw to the second base and he couldn't get a lot on it but they Your did get the out eight. Gene Segura will look for some two out magic two. here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Springer giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Phillies strand one. They're down by a touchdown. It's nine to two. David Hale comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Smoke toward the hole. And that is in the right field, so the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. Hey, that was a well-executed pitch down and away. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offense. That's a nice piece of hit. Maybe not what he was looking for, but the result was there. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game, and a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter. Guys that jacks me up right there kept his front shoulder tucked, the hip tucked was able to stay inside that slider and drive it the other way. George Springer the next to hit as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far two for three in this one. And it's fouled away. Oh and two here it comes. Grounder down the line at third. 
But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. Again, a 1-2. Fouled off. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Joyce is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting left fielder, Mortis Guriel. Standing in, Mortis Guriel. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Down the first baseline. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So a good bounce back inning here after the five-run outburst last time around. We'll head now to the bottom of the ninth. Toronto leads this one 9 to 2. Ryan Barucki will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Ryan Barucki. Stepping up now, Odubel Herrera starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. The, the Blue Jays are 15. into their bullpen now as there play. are the final numbers yeah. for their starter. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man now here for the second out. Third First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, forget about this one. Bob, Bob, Bowie. Out of here into the visitors' bullpen. Solo shot to right center. Sixth home run on the season for him. And this lead has been cut to just six now. I'm cold at this booth, so I know those players have to be cold out there. But it doesn't matter to him. He still now has enough it. power to Get knock to it out of the park. Get to the opposite field, no Real less. Muto. Now that is some man strength. JT Real Muto is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is swung on and missed, oh, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. When your team is behind this late in the game, it's not a good look for you as a hitter to show no discipline and wave at it. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and the Blue Jays have earned a sweep here in this brief two-game series as this ball game is over. 9-3 to three, the final tally here in this one. Toronto wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Tyler Chatwood takes the win on the mound his second of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through when it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. Multi-hit game, and one of them was a thing.